Uh, what's up everyone? It's George and Harry and we did our screencast on Argo, the Iranian hostage crisis and yeah, hope you enjoy it. The Iranian hostage crisis took place in Tehran, Iran in the years 1979 to 1980 and the United States was the chief foreign supporter of Shah Muhammad Reza Pahlavi's government between 1953 to the mid-1970s. The Shah fled to the United States from Iran in 1979, and fundamentalist lead, uh, Islamic leader Ayatollah Khomeini took the place of the Shah. So on the left is Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, and on the right is Ayatollah Khomeini. So Muslims in Iran blamed the United States for interfering with their internal politics, and students overran the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. There were 66 hostages, and 14 were released early, and so they kept 52 until the end of the crisis. So President Jimmy Carter declared a national emergency. So the first thing he did was sign an embargo on Iran, which blocked all the purchase of oil. All Iranian diplomats were expelled, and all Iranian students needed their visas to be checked. Eight billion U.S. dollars worth of Iranian assets were seized in the U.S. So this is President Jimmy Carter, and in the back here, you can see how Americans felt about the uh, Iranian hostage crisis. Uh, Non-military efforts had no effect on the crisis, and on April 24th through 25th, uh, 1988, U.S. helicopters were sent to a remote desert area called Desert One, and three of the helicopters broke down, forcing Carter to cancel the operation. So there were special forces on the helicopters. And this picture over here shows one of the planes that uh, that crashed in the sandstorm, killing eight Americans. So in September of 1980, Iraq invaded Iran, which increased Iran's willingness to end the crisis. Uh, secret diplomacy began with Alger the Algerian government as an intermediary, and Iran outlined four demands. This picture shows Iraq's invasion on Iran. So Iran's four demands were returning the Shah's wealth to Iran, unfreezing Iranian assets, canceling public and private claims against Iran, pledging not to interfere with Iranian affairs. And this picture just shows it's a mural painted somewhere in the world. It shows uh, the Iranian rebels and here are the US uh, hostages. Okay, the aftermath. Uh, hostages were released on January 20th, 1981, and th that was 30 minutes after Ronald Reagan's inauguration. And here he is right here in this picture. And that was because a secret deal was made with Iran earlier to prevent the release of ho the hostages before the election. So, in oh, and also in the year 2000, Former hostages and survivors sued Iran under the 1996 Anti-Terrorism Act, in which they won by default because Iran had no defense. And then in this picture, it shows the hostages coming home. So, in 2012, uh, Ben Affleck uh, produced the movie Argo, which was about the Iranian hostage crisis, but it was about the survivors who were not uh, captured in the um, initial seize of the embassy in Iran, the uh, hostages that escaped.
Alright, so here's our we're excited and then happy summer.